What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I want to get into something and I want to make sure I'm kind of clear with this aspect. I'm going to get deeper on yet this is another subject that kind of touches me and the means of understanding where we are and why certain things are said. Now I'm going to start off with Edwards v. Arizona 451 U.S. 477 1981. The Supreme Court held in this case that once a suspect requests counsel, the police and or prosecutor may not subject the subject to further interrogations until counsel is made available. The reason why I'm going to get deep on this is simply because there was an episode to which Ludacris was in and on Law and Order. And one of the things about it, he spoke about something and when he was arrested he was already on trial for something else he informed the police officers that he was on trial for this other matter the police continued to interrogate him his statement was later thrown out why because the police should have known that he had counsel but during this secondary interrogation Ludacris confessed to something now, the reason why that's important is because of these two cases. And I hope in doing these cases, you get a better understanding of why I showed the nine steps to police interrogation. Why I spoke about duress being placed into a traffic citation. Why I spoke about contracts and them being voided because of certain situations. Now, in Miranda v. Arizona, 384 U.S. 436, 1966, the very fact of a custodial interrogation extracts a heavy toll on an individual's liberty and trades on the weaknesses of individuals. Interrogation procedures may even give rise to a false confession. Now, the reason why that's important is because when you're talking about you're playing on the weaknesses of an individual what most people don't understand is everybody wants to give their side and the only thing you're doing is giving them either things to look at places to look at people to look at because you're trying to get them to believe you when no one cares they're not taught to find the truth they're taught to close cases for revenue generation. So they don't care about your side. The jury doesn't care about your side. What they care about is what can be proven. And the only thing the police are trying to do or the prosecution is trying to do during the interrogation is get you to admit guilt, to give them the right to take revenue. That is it. Nobody cares about right or wrong, guilty or not guilty. The only thing they care about is revenue. So stop trying to give your side. Why? Because you have the right to remain silent. Exercise that. And the police and also the prosecutor should know once you're involved in one case, they cannot question you about another without your representative available during that questioning because they can deflect a lot of the duress and coercion that is present in these manipulative interrogations. And the last one I'm gonna give you is Oregon v. Matheson, 429 U.S. 492, 1977. An interview of one suspected of a crime by a police officer will have coercive aspects to it because in investigations and interrogations coerced by design and I showed you that within the nine steps I'm going to do that by taking videos apart now showing it during police actual interrogation I'm going to show some interrogations from a couple of TV shows so you can understand the depth of these interrogation tactics so when we're doing this you're understanding the contracts are voided when you are interrogated 
on the sideline when they have yet to articulate a crime. They want you to say, okay, I'm done. Here's my money. Make them prove their case because the accuser is the one that has to provide the proof of a crime that exists. That's all I have for right now. More is coming. Apple Pay, Google Wallet, Venmo, and my favorite, Cash App. If you don't have it, hit the link in the description. Enjoy the benefits. And as well, we both get paid when you use it. Until next time.